Jane, <laughs> you think that parents should ask their children's consent when they are babies to change their nappy. So how did your little boy, aged three months, communicate to you that it was okay to change his nappy? It's, it's not the okay, it's the respect. How do they give consent? Well, that you can see in a body, in, in the body energy of any so, so human what would he, being. Talk me through it. Show me what he would well, do. Well, if, if a baby... Why can't a woman be in a... So I must ask my three-month-year-old, Kuti Brando, can I change your diaper? <laughs> Look, I, I don't, you see, I really don't think that she necessarily meant like you, you know, like you have to ask for permission like that. Like I would ask with you like, oh, Tuffy, can I do this? What like... Mm. I think what she meant, with my experience with um, my older sister's baby, it wasn't necessarily asking for permission, but it was more like you talk the baby through what you're doing so that she's more relaxed and comfortable. Mm. So, you know, oh, hi, it's time to change your diaper. And we had these necessary rhymes, you know. But Even when she was this? fighting to get dressed, it would be like, different. Oh, that's no. a natural process, is it not? To that you what? Would do with any baby. That you're like talking them because, through the process and stuff yeah, like that. So, uh, no, I'm just saying, is it not what she meant? No. Like, I like, are we not taking it too literal? Like, you have to, you know, like, that's what be that's like, what probably. Hey, may I please? That's what she meant. Because she's even. If it's something so natural, why else would she be on a TV show? Because she's even talking, talking about. She's even talking about the energy, the body language of a three month year old. Do that you before version? you change the diaper, you must check all the settings and be like, okay. She doesn't want to. Green light? No? Okay. That's your time. The language says no. Do you leave the diaper uh, smelling? First uh, and foremost, you rush. came out of me. <laughs> now you want to get consent. I must consent to change you. Uh, Come crazy. on. Crazy. No, crazy. No, that's craziness. Crazy. No, I, don't, I don't disagree. I think uh, we've taken this consent thing to a whole another level. Okay. And to an age group that is really not necessary. These are the people that our kids are supposed to look up to <laughs> when they switch on TVs and be like, and this way people don't we want to watch the anymore. news and you get this kind of news. Like it must be, now it must be like, Brie, can I have your consent to sit next to you? It's ridiculous, yes. This is how we feel just The marketing industry push that pink button when they want girls to buy stuff. So what? We girls see like it. pink. The Actually, kitchen. most boys don't like pink. None the of my three sons ever went, Daddy, I want to have a pink dress. My daughter is. did because she's a girl. My son's favourite colour is pink and he was wearing pink <laughs> pyjamas. People were saying, oh, you shouldn't put that photograph yeah, yeah, yeah. out there. Why can't the girls people... actually be encouraged to cook? Who cares? What is so demeaning? about a woman cooking. Actually, not... many women take a pride in cooking a good Can meal. I... Got any young girls watching this? There's nothing wrong with cooking. It's actually quite fun. I do it occasionally, right? How do we even know that this is a girl, by the way, Barbie? Is, is she yeah. identifying yeah. as a woman? <laughs> or is she identifying as gender fluid? In which case, she might be identifying as a man. And and actually, I'm offended on, on his behalf that you may not have realized Barbie is now gender fluid mm. and actually, despite looking like a girl, actually <laughs> is a man today. Men do not... <laughs> Is he uh, lying though? Yes, Morgan. Is he lying cup, though? He because honestly, the there is nothing wrong with cooking, guys. As a female, I love to cook. Me too. I enjoy the process of cooking. watching my brothers enjoy what I thing. made, knowing that they're gaining weight because of what I made. Brag about you know? it to his ah, friends. Like, imagine. Nice. And now they're looking at you like, ah, you know, I might just. So, what is your take on these women who are like, I don't cook, I don't clean? That's Toilets. them. Like, personally, I was telling you this yesterday. I love a clean floor. I will be on my house. knees to wipe the floor, Dude. to mop the floor. Up close and personal. Imagine coming home to a filthy house. Oh. Just kill me. Oh, and murder me. now, just because I'm an independent woman. But these things don't have roles, though. I think that they don't have roles. Like, you genuinely have men who love cooking. Like, mm -hmm. food is their love language as such. They feel like when they feed you, whether they've cooked or bought the food, it's them expressing how much they care. And then maybe she cleans up after. Like, but it's I, beautiful. But I think that argument originates from the idea mm. that a lot of modern women, especially in the West, are like, I want a guy who provides, who pays for everything, who gives me a house, a car, whatever she wants. But then in the same sentence, she says, I don't keep cook, I don't clean. There are examples of guys who come home complaining that I get home and the house is a mess. There's no food to eat. And, I, not, and he's doing his part. And then she's just like, I don't cook, I don't clean. I feel I like, like then it comes to that conversation. What do you bring to the table? Because I feel like most men 
actually do not have a problem for to provide for the women that they love. Mm -hmm. When they have the financial ability, I don't think there's a man who will sit there and be like, I don't want to buy this lady that I love a beautiful purse. It might not be $5,000 worth, but you know. I also feel like it's selfish for you to just say you want a man who does this, 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 and then, and then you just, so what's your purpose it's, then? It's, like To just survive. To look pretty? Yeah. There are so many pretty women out there That's who are true. willing to go on all fours ready to, you think he will not start Strike cheating? the floor. You're not giving your man, if you are not giving him a hot meal, he's getting it somewhere else. Best believe that. Because there's true. no but way. But even if you're getting, if he's getting a hot meal from you, he's probably getting two others. Men are unpredictable. Men I mean, will humble you. They, they will, will leave you, you in the desert with no words. They will humble you. will do everything. And then they don't get they will me wrong. Humble yes, men will humble you. But <laughs> each person has a trigger. I don't care what people say. For a man to start cheating, something, something. Must, must have happened. She's uh, not saying that it's, uh, it's the woman's ask. fault. But she's just saying. <laughs> usually. Something happened. Usually. I was about to ask, because you said you will do everything and he will leave you in the desert. Everything from your perspective or from, from his, his perspective. perspective. That's the because thing. in most cases, women now want but, to do everything that they want to do. And the guy will be there saying exactly what he wants. But you but don't, not we don't hear it. That's true. That's the thing. I, you but don't I think open and honest going... communication... Like you can only do open and honest communication only comes when you are open and honest to someone who's... Weak. People don't get that part in relationships. Yes, you can be open and communicate thoroughly. But if the other party is not able to hear or understand what you're saying because you might both be speaking english but this person is hearing arabic so also, they will not know i also want to say but it's the same with men just because one man cheated on you doesn't mean all of them are the same so mm -hmm. if you're not listening to him he's just like baby i want sadzanimuri i want pop and vegetables and you make order creamed mushrooms no no baby you order kfc what do you think is going to happen mm -hmm. What do you really think is going, going to happen? It's going to come to breathe for pup and vegetables. Our breeze food is nice. Hey, you will smell it from across the road there. Next thing you know, your man is cheating on you because of a hot meal, because you refuse to learn how to cook, because you want to That's be a all. modern woman. It you can't even minutes. feed yourself. Please, I just... <laughs> you can't even feed yourself, but you want to be fed by someone else. <laughs> you don't cook, you don't clean, so who's going to do it? I think you want to. There's nothing wrong with being a modern woman. There's nothing wrong with wanting a man that can provide for you. But you provide also for him. have to be able to provide the best. Like if he is okay with you staying at home and not working and being a beautiful woman he comes home to, can you just make sure that he's coming home to something that he is excited to get to? Can't say every time he packs his car, say, damn it. Here we go again. Here we go again. If he's making you happy, why can't you do the same? Yeah, it's 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 a give and take situation. You 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 take what you can, but also give what is required. Mm. Take what you require, give back what is required. Give and take. There's nothing wrong Feed with cooking. Feed each other's souls. There's nothing wrong with cleaning. Nothing. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Amen. Please yes. clean your houses. And it's so nice to be able to get into a nice, clean, fresh home. Well, but you are the only thing that's dead oh, because you're coming from outside. Yes. And just sit there and just be comfortable in your own personal space. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Oh, honestly, as an African woman, if you can't cook and clean, I'm judging you. I'm sorry. That's true. I'm me too. I am judging you. Like, so what are you doing with your life? What was your mother doing? You don't have a degree. Bro. You don't cook. In Africa, our parents will leave us at home. You don't know how to polish a floor. At the age of early ages. And they will expect you to come home to a clean house, a cooked meal, your homework done, uniform washed. I honestly like, feel like the Western world has made Africans lazy. I rebuke that. We Think are not about lazy it. people. We are not lazy. For, no, not um, the Africans who have now come outside of Africa. Because we are now being... What's the word? Yeah, I think this, this is why think it's a contagious that, disease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Brenda said. And this is why most parents are willing to take their kids back to Africa to learn there. Because it's so... Like, growing up, you're just like, oh my God, these parents, why do they put me through the most? But when you're now in your own personal space, the ability to be just able to get up, do the dishes, clean your own personal space, go grocery shopping and know where you are in a shop is so important. <laughs> Bro, because now I will give the example of even doing laundry. We used to hand wash. Now I'm too lazy to get up, put clothes in the washing machine, 
take them out but before mama would be like tell me no no get them go wash your clothes i'll be there in the sun, in the sun. not complaining for 3 4 hours washing clothes silently and you're not just washing your own clothes you're listening to nature <laughs> <laughs> God is speaking to you, what? bro. <laughs> now you can't clothes. even put clothes in the laundry. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, let's 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 come on. Let's be real, guys. Let's behave. <laughs> we are not living in a in a movie. This is real life. This is not Cinderella. Cook, Beauty and the Beast. Yes.